Hello traders, Gary Wagner here just before one o'clock in Honolulu. It is Tuesday, March the 6th, 2018 and this is the daily report for gold and silver. Nice upside spike in the precious metals markets with gold trading up about $15.80 closing at 1335.70. We did issue a trade alert this morning. We'll go through that trade in detail as we pull up our technical studies. Silver, nice climb up 36 cents at 1678. And that is all within the uh, tailwinds provided by a declining US dollar down about a half a percent or 46 points closing at 89.58. Now, the Dow closed fractionally higher. 24,884. However, that was prior to the announcement that Gary Cohen resigned today as chief economist for the current administration. Bitcoin down about $500 at 10,780 and 10,775. Well, traders, today we got that upside spike or follow through from Friday's trading activity that I had hoped to see yesterday. Gold is currently trading up about $15.20, currently fixed at 1335.10. We did send out a trade alert. We'll go through that in detail. But first, let's cover recent activity that set into motion our current trade. If you recall from last week, there was tremendous downside pressure overall for the week. It really began on Tuesday when we had our first testimony by Jerome Powell, which resulted in gold losing about $17 per ounce in value. But more importantly than that, on a technical basis, that day was the first day in which gold's pricing broke below the 50-day moving average, which was the first occurrence in 2018. Then on Thursday, President Trump announced a proposal to implement a set of tariffs on both steel and aluminum, and that drove the market even lower, trading to a low of approximately 1303. That's basis the April contract, which came within striking distance of our target, which resided at roughly 1302 the 50% retracement of the prior rally from December through the end of January of this year. However, it was the quick and decisive recovery from the lows seen last Thursday that really indicated the potential that we were about to see a pivot point or a key reversal in the market. The best way to look at that is through spot gold, and that is because of the way the open and close are fixed. We can clearly see the decisive recovery in which after achieving these lows, traders quickly bid the price back up, taking them to just below the open of Thursday, and that's this small red body here. From there, we had a slight recovery on Friday, and then of course yesterday, slightly lower pricing. That all changed today when the market opened solidly higher and currently is trading up about 14 or $15 at 13.34.15. That of course is when we look at spot gold, the futures market that is trading at 13.35.50. This is precisely the point in which we issued a trade recommendation to initiate a long position in gold. And one of the primary rationales behind that was we had this solid spike above the 50-day moving average, which of course is indicative of a bullish move and a bullish market. We are currently placing our stop just below not only the 50-day moving average, but also the 38% retracement. So our current stop resides at 1316. My recommendation is to maintain your current long position and to maintain your current stop. And traders, on this particular call, I am actually getting rather bullish on silver. I purposely left silver out of the call today because I am waiting for silver pricing to close above its 50-day moving average. But what is interesting right now in this setup is the fact that when we look at the 50-day moving average, which sits in blue, and the 200-day moving average in red, what we clearly see is that it looks like the 50-day is about to cross above the 200-day, which is, of course, a golden cross. At that point, we will recommend initiating long positions in silver.
And traders, last I do want to take a look at Bitcoin. Bitcoin futures closing off by about $840, a net loss of approximately 7% at 10730 We can see that there are a couple of clear-cut signs of resistance when we consider the recent highs that were achieved at around 11500 They match up quite eloquently with these highs that came in mid-February and this area of consolidation that occurred in January just prior to Bitcoin slipping to its lowest point since futures contracts were initiated at 6,000. My sense is that we have hit some real resistance and I would look for this market to retrace a bit. It could trade as low as 90 to 70. Traders, the news that just broke about the resignation of Gary Cohen could be significant. At best, it will have a nominal effect on U.S. equity markets. At worst, it could shake up the financial markets. More details have to come in, and this story is just breaking as we record the final introduction as well as the ending to today's show. Stay tuned. There could be fireworks. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you, as always, good trading. We'll talk to you tomorrow for another daily update and review. Bye-bye.